Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna be making Max Kitchen. I decided to put magnets inside the mugs so it kinda looked like you had a cherish going on. But if you don't want it, you can just make a regular mug and it will still look really cute. Also, check out the other videos of Valentine Gift Idea series on the playlist on my channel. For this project, I'm using 5 ply milk cotton yarns, 3mm hook, scissors, black yarn for the mouth part, needle, keychains, 2 pairs of 6mm plastic eyes, 4 pieces of 8x2mm magnets, and a stitch marker. Let's start with the first row with a magic ring. So what you need to do is wrap the yarn around your fingers and then when you flip it, there will be two lines. You're gonna put the hook under the first line, then hook over the second one. Then you can let go of your left fingers. Finish with a chain. And that's a magic ring. We're gonna continue with six single crochet. So for single crochet, you're gonna put the hook into the ring, then pull out the yarn, and then yarn over. And that's a single crochet. Since we need 6 single crochet in this row, we're gonna be making 5 more of these. When you're done, you can pull the yarn to close the wall, and you're finished with the first row. Into the second row, we're gonna be making an increase stitch. In an increase stitch, we're gonna place two single crochet in the same stitch. So I just made my first single crochet, and I'm gonna place a stitch marker so that I know where the beginning is. And then I'm gonna make another single crochet in the same stitch as my previous one. Continue making increase stitch until the end of the row and there would be 12 stitches in total. For row 3, we're gonna be making a single crochet and an increase. So I'm gonna be making a single crochet first. And then I'm gonna place the stitch marker back. And then for the next stitch, I'm gonna make an increase stitch. That will be the pattern for this row, so a single crochet and then an increase in the next stitch. Repeat this pattern until the end of the row and there will be 18 stitches in total. Into the next row, we're gonna be making 2 single crochet and an increase. So I'm gonna make 2 single crochet first. And then continue with an increase in the next stitch. We're gonna repeat this pattern until the end of row 4 and there will be 24 stitches in total. For row 5, we're gonna be making single crochet for the whole row, but we're gonna do it back loop only. So instead of inserting the hooks into both loops, we're just gonna put the hook in the middle of the loop and then make a single crochet. Don't forget to put the marker back and we're gonna do this until the end of row 5. Now for row 6 until row 9, we're gonna be making a single crochet all the way through. This time, we're gonna make it on both loops. This is what mine looks like after 9 rows. And now we're gonna be making the face part and gluing the magnets. For eyes, I'm using 6mm plastic eyes and we're gonna place it between row 8 and row 9, 4 stitches apart. For 
for the mouth i'm using a black yarn and we just need to make a letter v to make the mouth When you're done, you can go ahead and tie the yarn to secure it, and then cut the excess yarn. You're done with the face, now moving on to the magnets. I'm using 8x2mm magnets, and I'm placing 2 on each mark. Also, if you're making the second mark, Make sure you glue the right side of the magnet by trying it on first with the first mark. Since I'm gluing the magnet on the right side for the first mark, now for the second mark, I'm gonna glue the magnets on the left side. If you wanna be precise, you can glue the magnets for stitches from the eyes. But if you just want to take a guess and place the magnets roughly on the left side, you can just do so. Since I'm using two magnets, I'm just gonna glue the two magnets together. And since I don't have the safety part of the eyes, I'm just gonna glue them. And you're done with the face parts and the magnets. Now we're gonna continue making our way to the next row. So for row 10 until row 12, we're just gonna be making single crochet all the way through. This is what it's gonna look like after 12 rows and for the next row, we're gonna be changing our yarn into a brown one. To change the color of the yarn, you're gonna insert the hook into the loop and the loop below it. So there are two loops on your hook right now. Then you're gonna grab the brown yarn and insert the yarn into the loop. You can go ahead and pull out the purple yarn and then you can just cut it. Now we're gonna continue making row 13 in brown yarn with single crochet for the whole row, back loop only. Also, before you forget, you can tie the purple yarn and the brown yarn together to secure both yarns. Now for row 14, we're gonna make two single crochet and a decrease stitch. So I'm gonna make two single crochet first. And for decrease stitch, you're gonna put the hook into the middle of the next stitch and then the one next to it. Then you're gonna pull out the yarn and yarn over. That's a decrease stitch. And that's the pattern for this row. Two single crochet and a decrease. You can repeat this pattern until the end of the row and there will be 18 stitches in total. For the last row, we're gonna be making a single crochet and a decrease. So we're gonna be making a single crochet first. And then continue with a decrease. Repeat this pattern until the end of the row and there will be 12 stitches in total. When you're done, you can go ahead and fill the mark. Then you can cut the yarn and pull it out from the loops. To close the hole, I'm just gonna insert the yarn into a needle. 
Then I'm gonna insert the needle into the middle part of the next stitch. Then repeat the same process for the next stitches. When you're done, you can just pull the yarn really tight to close the hole, then hide the excess yarn. And you're done with the mark. Now we're gonna make the handle. We're gonna start with a slip knot. Basically, it's the same way as making magic ring, but after you let go of your left finger, you can just pull the yarn while also pull the other side of the yarn. After making a slip knot, now we're gonna continue with 11 chains. We're gonna skip the first chain and continue making 10 single crochets starting from the second chain. It will look like this and you can just go ahead and cut the yarn but left a long tail for sewing. You can pull out the yarn and insert the yarn into a needle and I'm gonna stitch it on the right side of the mark I'm gonna stitch it between row 11 and row 12 for stitches from the eyes and for the lower part I'm gonna stitch it between row 6 and row 7 When you're done, you can tie the yarn to secure it and hide the excess yarn. And that's it for the video guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video, bye!